Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you're well. I am on the top floor today. I don't often film up here, though I spend the majority of my time up here because we just love it. And maybe to indulge myself a little because I love looking back at the befores. I thought this week I would do a tour of the top floor, what it looked like before and what it's looking like now, especially because we finished the stairs. So it's all wonderful and complete. A bit like you're inviting around a friend being like, we finished the top floor, come round and have a little look. So I'll admit I've tidied slightly, I've lit the candles, but it's not perfect. There is, there's laundry in the laundry basket. It probably needs a hoover, but come on in. Let's have a look at what it was looking like before and what it's looking like now. So as you come up the stairs, the first room that you come into is what we are using right now as our bedroom. And actually this room was a bedroom when we bought the house. In fact, I even think the bed was in exactly the same place. Right now, we are in this room as our bedroom, but this will be the guest room in the future. I'm gonna be linking all of the room um, makeovers that we did. So they talk through all of the items, what we picked, why we picked them. But this space is where we are most of the time, to be honest, I get ready here every morning. I love having my dressing table in this little nook with also the um, shelves above. One of our top things and something that we're carrying on in the rest of the house is these little spotlights. Coming a bit closer there, you might be able to see that they're an angle. So we specifically got them angled so that we could feature them on specific points. So these are looking over the shelves, this one's on the mirror, and then that one is also on the wardrobe. And these actually give way more light than you can imagine. I'll show you in the hallway because that room is a little bit darker. We will also be doing this in all of our rooms that we can downstairs because I feel like this is such a feature in Victorian houses, especially with the fireplace and just the lovely detail. So we've got this kind of like lovely curve here, which I really love. And I think it creates the most beautiful space there. We popped in this mirror in this little space and it works really well. It's a really good size. I actually ordered another mirror for this space because this one we had for years and it's not quite the right color, but it works perfectly and it's absolutely fine. And then we also have this wardrobe, which is a small old wardrobe. Long term, we'd love to do built-ins in here, but they cost a pretty penny, so not for now. And this does the job. And especially if this is a guest room, guests don't need that much storage, this one rail. <laughs> and also this will be plenty enough. You can very clearly see our chimney out there. That actually is the chimney that goes right down to our kitchen. But what I was gonna talk about was the window. So upstairs here, we changed all of our windows for double glazed wood windows. So they weren't repaired, they were totally new. It was definitely an investment, but it's so worth it. They're not the cleanest, but they run really beautifully, literally using like one finger to pull them up. And they come up really nicely and back down again. And then obviously our bed on this side with our bedside tables are two lights. I know we had a lot of comments about this when we first did the renovation. Why have you got them all on the wall and um, also a lamp too? We are, it's something that I will carry on doing. We have these on um, <laughs> Alexa. I'm sorry if I've set so many off which means that during the day, if we wanna come into the room without saying anything, if we're holding something, we can just say, turn the lights on and they will pop on. We do that nearly every day. But then if I want to get up to go to the toilet during the night, I don't wanna say that and then turn on this light, which is actually quite a bit brighter. This is just really convenient to roll over, be able to like really easily click that light on and get out of bed. I'm not having to faff around with finding a lead or seeing how I can turn it on um, up here. It's just really easy. I would highly recommend having both. The floor throughout is the original floorboards, which we sanded back and painstakingly repaired so that they are wonderfully smooth. And I actually really love this view here when you can start to see the bathroom out there and also the wardrobes. But that is our bedroom. Then heading out, we're back into the hallway landing space. We've got these wardrobes here. I have recently picked up this rug. I'm not sure whether to keep it, guys. Do you think I should keep it or not? It's probably a bit small for the space, but finding the right size rug is near impossible because it's quite wide. It's not really like a hallway runner space. It needs to be wide, but it also needs to be a bit longer. So I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts. 
but we installed these which are ikea they're an ikea hack we've got the same lights here and you can see them a little bit more i'll open these up so you can see the insides one of the best things about doing our first renovation as a long-term renovation is that you learn quite a lot and you learn a lot about what you want and need and I, I would highly recommend if it is your first to kind of do it as a bit of a longer renovation because I have learned something that my mum always used to say like storage 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 it is so important it's all okay having a beautiful home but if you don't have space to put stuff away it's always going to get untidy it's going to get cluttered so storage and these have been wonderful the lighting is probably going to go terrible because these spotlights now but they're not there to make me look good the insides you can kind of tell a little bit more are the ikea carcasses and we've gone for the dark wood inside to match the dark wood on the floor and also our stairs this is kind of like spare storage and from here you can really see the impact of the light in the space which we put perfectly in the middle so it makes it much clearer to see in here yeah, I mean, it's not that organized, but we have spare things for birthdays and wrapping. Ollie's toiletry is mine. And then this is all wonderfully spared. So we've got things like travel toiletries. I know <laughs> I had a comment from once being like, you have loads of sun creams. Um, yeah, a lot of them haven't been opened. I am very lucky we gifted some stuff. And then also spare toiletry bits and spare bathroom bits. I may be saving. For a bath that I might be having downstairs already getting excited we got some spare towels when we switch around and they these are like our travel bags so if we need to travel if we're going away if I want to chuck something in a bag I can just come in here and really easily access them and then down here we also have spare loo rolls very randomly and this isn't what we planned for this space but we have our printer we actually planned to put um, a hoover in here and this is measured for the height of a hoover and then also have the IKEA drawers but um, the Ikea stuff is really out of stock at the moment. So anyway, that is that one. And they're all lovely and soft clothes. There you go. <laughs> is this interesting? I'm not sure. But this one was meant to be Ollie's IT. And it is unfortunately white because it wasn't in stock. But we have the drawers in here. So you can pull them out, push them back in. And then in this one, we have some more spare bathroom stuff. So we have all the cleaning products bathroom is right next door I'll take you through there in a second um yeah and this is all tooth care we have our steamer in here so ollie actually irons a irons steams a shirt every morning comes in here turns this one on it's at the perfect height he's got his watches in here um and also some aftershaves and then this is very random because we are just waiting to have more storage but we don't really need it at the moment And then layout wise, past that bedroom, the wardrobe's over to this side. We have this room here, which would probably be used as another bedroom, but we don't need it right now. So it's kind of a walk-in wardrobe come office. And it's a bit of a joint walk-in wardrobe. So we put these wardrobes in, which we originally had when we moved into the house, but we didn't know how we would fit them in the space. So we did a little hack where we just cut off a bit of the IKEA wardrobe these are not so beautiful inside functional and absolutely fine but a little bit crammed because ollie and i are both using these at the moment so i've got my dresses and a few of mine in his coats we have storage at the top as well which works really well but then in this one we have my shirts and jumpers and then this rail is mostly ollie's so ollie's coats and shirts so we are a bit we're a bit crammed although it's not long term so there's no point in us trying to fix it and then this one is very random my trousers ollie shoes mixed hats and then mostly my shoes down the bottom from back here you can see a bit better how we built that into the slope there and next to it and this one again is something that we've just had from ikea for a very long time this unit doesn't really perfectly fit here but we didn't want to get rid of it just yet so it stores things like sunglasses and belts i think i got some headbands back there uh, it's just useful for some of those things we've also got like spare print cartridges at the bottom so this is mainly storage space and to be honest the first thing that will move out of this room once we move downstairs which is literally right right below this room here 
Then next to the wardrobes, as you've seen, we have our love seat and ottoman. I'd like to say that I sit at my desk to work, but I mostly sit here with my feet up, drink on the side table. Since being in this house, actually, we never used to have ottomans. We just had like wooden coffee tables. And I feel like it's changed our life. Both Ronnie and I were saying the other day, we will never go back to a coffee table because we quite enjoy having our feet up if we want to, but also they're just much cozier in the room. They just make it like feel softer and nicer. So yeah, I have my chest of drawers, which has like my underwear and pants and nightwear in it. And then I've got my jewelry box on top, which I'm, is very messy. I have another trinket tray over here and then jewelry. The trees are seriously showing off at the moment, especially this one. It goes so quickly in the autumn, but it turns the most beautiful yellow and then it goes really like pinky. And then we literally mimicked next door exactly with the shelving, with the lights and the desk. And same as next door, we also want wardrobes, built-in wardrobes to go into the alcove on the right-hand side. Same fireplace, but a little bit smaller. We managed to find this and yeah, I think they just look lovely. In this room, kind of subtle, because they're the same, that we actually painted them the same color as the walls. And then I've just got a little rail, which keeps some of my new in stuff my perfumes and uh, honestly I don't always change this over all the time but some go-to bags you can see <laughs> I've still got some summer on there But like the room that I'm currently in and the room that we're going into were probably the biggest changes in this house so the before of this is just a little bit crazy it wasn't a bathroom it was a storeroom obviously much more convenient as a bathroom and something that we use every single day at least twice a day and one of my calm spaces up here to be honest I really enjoy coming up here and relaxing a little bit maybe one regret but it was mostly down to cost so I hate regrets when you're like oh I would change this I may have put underfloor heating down under here but we're doing the underfloor heating for our ensuite right now it's proving to be quite difficult. It's not as easy as we thought, so I don't know whether we could have logistically ever put it up here. Anyway, so anyway, the bathroom. We, it's a small space. So we wanted to make sure that we had some storage and that it worked quite well. We put the toilet just behind the door here so that you could barely see it. Um, it's not by much though, but you can see here, you can't see it when you come up the stairs. And even when you turn the corner a bit, you still can't see it for a little while got paintings above and some useful just like diffuser and um my cotton cotton things <laughs> what are these called washcloths that's the word i wanted to make the room not feel totally like a bathroom so having some artwork in here has really helped with that and this room can get quite steamy and they've stayed fine so far and then we also uh, because we this has worked with a sani flow so if you don't know it's like a macerator for all the toilet fluids let's say and what it does is it pumps it right the way through our house to the back to the waste um so we needed that box to be hidden you can see that we've hidden it down here so that we can access it that's done with magnets so if we do need to get in there we really easily can but it did mean that we would have a shelf and i love this because it's just so convenient to pop stuff on we have our toothbrush mouthwash hand wash and then i have my skincare which means that as soon as I walk in here, I have it easy to grab. And we did two lights either side, which is actually really flattering for the face. It's much more flattering than having an overhead light. And these are the ones that I turn on always when I'm not showering, but I'll go through the lights in a second. Big sink area. This is actually, I don't know if you can tell from the video, this is taller than normal. Ollie did one that I was like, mm, is it needed? But I think it was this area here. Um, we had like an extra, extra height added which is nice when you're like brushing your teeth and washing your face because you don't have to bend over that much then we have the shower 
most convenient part is the fact that we can turn it on from here and not get wet. And then we have also handheld there too. And then two little cubbies opposite. This one's just to look pretty, I'll be honest. We don't always use these shower gels. <laughs> we use the one down here. This is stuff that we use all the time. And then our phallic window, which opens up. It's quite nice to have like a little shower in the summer. Not right now um, with that open. Bit weird, but I'm stood in the shower now. So this is the view that you get in the shower, um, literally right in the shower. We did this um, radiator on the wall and that's been pretty convenient. It actually really does heat the room up beautifully. And it has, we made sure to put the same valves on it that have all of the wood in the rest of the house. And just behind the door, probably one of our favorite things is our little storage area. We use the pine floorboards that we had spare from the outside and stain them the same. Just to tie in all of those little details, you can see the toilet um, seat is the same and it makes it quite convenient as well because you're just, because this is a small space, you're just turning around and I mean, you're gonna literally like reach the loo rolls from the toilet and um, other bits there. And then towels on the back of the door, which makes it easy. So that is our bathroom at the top. So just to go through all the lights, we actually have two lights for in here. So we have the lights which go to the side there and then this is, might be a bit annoying, but we have two spotlights on the top which also operate our fan. So if you want a lot of light there in the winter, then you can turn that on, but we also have to turn that one on to have a shower. And then this may only be useful if you're renovating, but then we have the two light um, switches in here, one which operates the lights which I have on there, and these are both on dimmers. So as you can see, I'm dimming them there, and then I can make them lighter. And then we also have the middle light, which I can do the same thing. It's gonna flicker now, and I can dim that one too exactly the same situ in this bedroom and even exactly the same light and then coming out from the bedroom you're obviously back into the landing which you guys have seen very recently so i won't go through that again um in this room we do have it's not really a room it's a landing we have the two lights again for one for the spotlights and one for the main light so the main light will link to the downstairs hallway it doesn't currently so that as we come up the stairs we can turn the light on also if uh, you've seen yes only two of those are in use at the moment typically we had the ladder up to clean it when i finished the stairs a few weeks ago and they've gone since <laughs> and actually one last thing to point out here this window is different to our other two windows this one is pvc double glazed but honestly if i put up a picture side by side you can slightly tell the difference but not overly we do want to change the hardware on this one so that it matches in a bit better with the other ones but it just wasn't a priority but the good thing about this one this one can also be open to be a fire exit which we didn't know at the time but for building regs is probably what you would need in this space Building rags is a lot to just do with common sense. I think decisions that you're making, especially if it's a long-term home, you will be picking it even if you're not considering building rags. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. I'll show you how it opens. Honestly, it's also just really great for cleaning it because we don't have easy access to get that one cleaned by a window cleaner. I hope that was helpful in some kind of way. If you have any questions below, leave them, whether it's about renovations or something that you've seen. I will do my best to answer them all in this video. I'm gonna make sure that I have some time after the video goes up so that I can answer them. But I'm excited to say that next week we will be going back to the renovation videos for the floor below, which is really exciting. So I hope to see you all then. Subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss that. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.